Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to prepare interpolation method or how to do generation map of an area using point features. So we can do any kind of map like coroplath, isoplath, rainfall uh, generation map, temperature generation map, quality, water quality map or different point feature based interpolation map by using interpolation. So this is our study area, Tripura district, sorry Tripura state and these are the different point features. So I want to uh, change the, I can change, I can select this one, I can change the point feature. So these are the point features and this is our study area. And this point feature has different data. Okay, for example, if I go to open attribute table, if I go here, you can see here different data actually available, available within this study area. State name, taluk name, block name, as well as the uh, other different, for example, year and water quality index. So different, uh, the value already put it here. Okay. So before going to the interpolation map, so we should know the arc toolbox and this interpolation uh, technique actually available within the spatial analysis tools. Click here, the spatial analysis tool and within this spatial analysis tool, you can see here interpolation, okay. So again click here and there is a number of method of interpolation method, okay. IDW, creeping, natural inverse, is plane etc etc here i here i actually use this idw because in this map i will do the interpolation as well as i also want to find out the area of each generation map okay so i just click here this idw so new dialog box will open so from the drop down menu select this point tripura okay then from the uh, jet value field click this uh, drop down menu select water quality index okay w q i output register select and from this history you will see i have i have interpolation uh, folder here i want to write i w b tripura okay dot if because this will uh, the result will come as a raster data set that is why assign the folder type sorry file type as a tiff save then output uh, cell uh, whatever is uh, go with that now there is a two way by you can do the interpolation at first we want to do this one that means this uh, simple uh, selection of the input point then Z value and then the output raster okay and click here this is okay so it will do within very few uh, minutes or second according to your computer configuration the process completed uh, if I bring it in front that means the top layer I can see this is our coroplith map and if I bring it in front of IWD, you can see, uh, just double click here, go to hello, click here. So you can see this is the boundary of our study area, that means the Artipura. But unfortunately, our uh, interpolation map, that means IWD, is not cover the entire study area. Why? Because if I bring the point feature you can see the last point last point last point and last point so the last point is the boundary of the interpolation if we go random selection that means the last point is the boundary last point is the boundary last point is the boundary and last point is the boundary is the boundary of the interpolation so if i do this we are unable to uh, cover the entire study area okay 
so what actually we do simple again go to iwd here again select the input which are point the pula then from the jet value select uh, water quality index then click here the output register here iwd the price there so i here want to write new okay click save now what i'll do i actually want to do the uh, interpolation for the entire area enter the study area okay so for that we just go the environment setting so where we'll go environment setting from here you just go the processing extent just click here the drop down and from here you can see extend okay so click again drop down and select same layer as tripura okay because this is our tripura layer this is the polygon boundary so click here same as layer tripura okay and again go below you can see here raster analysis okay again from this uh, option of mask click this drop down and select tripura okay so this tripura okay after that click okay and click okay so i again want to uncheck this this is the previous one okay so let's see what actually come okay now you can see if i uncheck this point feature so now you can see the our iwd that means interpolation map or method exactly as it our in study area okay so you just select the environment uh, the option okay now you can see this is our range that means from the lowest value is 14 the highest value is 98 so if actually you want to generation that means these are the random generation but if you have the uh, some specific generation specific uh, value so how you will do that so this is also very simple okay and i will show it in the next tutorial how to classify the interpolation map into different zone or how to reclass the raster map so thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update thank you thank you again